Microphone check. Microphone check. Thank you guys. I appreciate the chat, man. Where would I be without you guys talking to myself? <laughs> My bad. My bad. Thank you. Um, so we're going to be talking about Noami Boulevard. Thank you, Facebook, to you guys on Facebook. Let me know. You guys let me know. I am playing. Um, we're going to be talking about Noami Boulevard, the update, kind of, from um, the private investigator from the family, Joe Carrillo. Hi, welcome, Lisa, Alex, Sarah, Misty. Um, hopefully, I don't say that wrong. Rayonette, Suburban Kid, Courtney. We're going to be doing phone calls, too, if anybody wants to call. If nobody wants to call, it's okay, because I have somebody already lined up to call in. But you should call them. Uh, what I wanted to do real quick before we get started, too, is just play a quick video. For the people that don't know the story, I'm going to play a quick... Uh, I'm just randomly looking at something that will hopefully... Uh, give a little bit of context to this. Let's do this one. This is what I want on tape. So lay not smiling. As a teenager, I can't. Let's do this one. Boom, boom. Carried a camera with me. I've been out about a missing mystery in Hollywood. A new critical clue was revealed in the search for a woman who has been missing for more than a week. Local Times Roy This Rainbow. was way back then, though. This was two months ago. This is live in Hollywood with the latest on this case. Roy. Sonella, it has been nearly 10 days and this family continues their search for their missing sounds. loved one, but they hope that a clue will help them find her. You are looking at the latest image of 21 year old Noemi Boulevard obtained by Hollywood police. Investigators say it shows the missing woman boarding a Broward County transit bus on Sheridan Street near 72nd Avenue last Thursday, the same day she disappeared. I know we're going to find her, but, but we cannot find her alone. Noemi's mother with a desperate cry for help Saturday as she continues the search for her daughter. Stay strong, honey, because we're coming for you. We're going to find you. We're going to help you. More than 100 volunteers gathered at a Hollywood church with missing person signs and images of Noemi. From there, the group spread to a neighborhood near Foster Road and Northwest 6th Avenue, passing out flyers to residents. This area, a place where there have been reports she may have been spotted. It's been crazy, very desperate, and every minute counts. So that's Noemi's mother and father. Noemi went missing uh, February 11th this year, 2020. And let me send the phone number out. I'm going to send the phone number to my friend, Silvio. I'm going to read you guys the update, but she basically went missing from this place called, or we believe, and Cold Nature Center. We're not even really sure. Um, the whole situation was just weird. I mean, it was around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Um, that, that place is a pretty busy place. Not that that means somebody can't go missing. And on the last video that I did, some people got upset with me, too, when I spoke about Noemi. You know, and some of the things that I've come to find out. They got mad at me. Thanks, Lori. I saw your thing a little too late. All right. So I'm going to put the phone number in the chats real quick. No sound again? Or is this old? Testing, testing, testing. Oh, there you go. Okay. She's just delayed. All right, Sylvia, I sent you the number. Let me read you guys the message from the Facebook group. All right started oh uh, they got mad at me well because the thing was um you know i brought up her sexuality which is what i heard could be part of the reason give me five minutes all right um i brought up her sexuality which i believe could be part of the reason um you know i don't know that could just be a part of it maybe that's not the reason why she left people got upset with me about that that i put that out there and that i believed it seems like to me with all this stuff that I've gotten, it seems like she left on her own. Doesn't mean that she shouldn't be looked for or doesn't mean that something can happen to her what, when she willingly left. You know what I'm saying? But people got really upset. Even recently, somebody commented on my Facebook weeks after the fact. I don't even know who this lady is claiming to be a friend of Noemi's friend or roommate or something like that. And she was like, how dare you? I'm going to look for the message so I can read it to you guys. If I can. And then we'll get to this one. And somebody even commented under, under Joe's thing, too. Why are you putting this out? Uh, maybe to let her know that there's people she can reach out to. I don't know. I mean, not that it's a bad question, either. Get to that. We're going to get to that. 
Here it is. Here it is. Oh, so mixed up right now. So this is the post that I put out before we get to this. Post right there. Uh, what's going on here? There it is. Oh my God. I'm not even going to try to zoom in. All I said in this post, I don't want to zoom in until I screw it all up for you guys. No way both of our missing. It's awfully quiet. Amazing how that seems to be. I'm not going to hit the thing because I don't want to pull up her name to show it to you guys, but I'll pull it up behind this and read it to you. I don't want to put her name on blast or anything. Okay. This is what this person said to me. As someone who literally lives with a friend of Noemi, this is disrespectful. She's not a runaway. And a lot of the silencing involving the public discussion of this case has to do with the family. Nor HPD not appreciating the often harmful misinformation. How dare you, Hollywood Police Department, do that? They didn't even do anything. I don't know what they did. Um, and false reporting involving Noemi and her disappearance. That's what this person said. And then we went back and forth for a while. She was claiming to be a friend who's lit who literally lives with a friend of Noemi. You know, my, my response to her is, first of all, I have never seen you before. I've never seen you involved. You're not even posting anything in the group. The only thing you've ever done is post two times. And I spoke about this in my last rant video. If you guys heard that video, the last rant video that I did, it was titled, it was a live stream. I was talking about this situation. Um, Uh, what was it called? Where'd it go? Parents that go silent after their child is missing. <clears throat> and I wasn't talking about Noemi's parents. I was actually talking about Devante. Well, it actually is kind of there too. It actually does apply there too. But in that live stream, I was talking about this woman and some of the things that she said. It's just kind of interesting because the thing with her, you're claiming to be a friend or something. But you've only done two posts. The first post you ever did was the first that was a month after she went missing. You're a friend of the roommate. You did a post a month after she went missing. And then you did another post after that. So to me, whatever you say means nothing. And you're going off on a very bland post. I mean, I was, I was telling her, you should have checked the post that I did. You should have checked the video that I did previously with Garson Noemi because I'm sure that bothered a lot. So anyway... Uh, oh, and for the people that uh, Nasty Bro Pro Brody said he's late. Don't worry about that. Uh, we're just actually getting started. Um, so this is from the private investigator. He posted this today. Noemi, I know you're out there and watching. I understand and want to assist and support you. Reach out to me privately or to your friends that reached out to a couple of weeks ago. Or your friends or to your friends that you reached out to a couple of weeks ago. So let me read that sentence again. It's important that I get that. Sorry. Cover your ears. I thought my mic was broken earlier. So reach out to me privately or to your friends that you reached out to a couple of weeks ago. Noemi has been missing months. Past three months. Past three months. Uh, I've met with them and they are 100% behind you. They trust us and what we need to do to assist you. I've helped many young adults like you in the past look up the bringing them home project. All right. Now. <clears throat> oh, I got to put the phone. That's too. To, to me, the bringing them home project. That's, that's a great thing. Hey, my friend called in too. Uh, but it almost seems to me like she doesn't want to come home. And I wonder why. Is it just this sexuality thing or is there more to it? And also. Huh? And also. Um, 
I shouldn't I shouldn't look at text messages. There was this somebody commented under his post and said, Elinta Selinif Elena, I understand how you want to protect the family, but as a mom and worried citizen, it's conf- oh I didn't I forgot to censor one. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, I'm reading it and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> but as a mom and a worried citizen, it's comforting to know that Noemi is alive, that perhaps she's not being trafficked, which I almost wonder too if they knew this all along. Maybe. I, I, I think that they probably knew that effect, but maybe they wanted to, they were worried about their child and if it was deemed as a runaway. Maybe they feared that people wouldn't search for her. Hard. But it's just to me this whole thing here. This person says to Joe, "Don't do that. This is not for you to tell nobody. You need to keep all this information just for you. You're making a big mistake. Please don't do this again." <clears throat> right? Let me take uh take my Silvio and then I'm gonna put the phone number up in about. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Hey, listen to your YouTube. How's everything going? Good, good, man. Um, just kind of taking this in this post, and, and by the way, this is from private investigator. So this is the assumption. You know, I, I don't know how credible the person is that he spoke to, but it, it seems like he spoke to friends to multiple people and this is this is a big thing to put out so i don't put it out just like that without believing it to be true i mean i just find do you think uh his his post is credible i don't know because what i'm trying to say is if his post like if he was trying to make up stuff that's gonna hurt him his, his well that's the thing too you know him finding people somebody that's his business business and reputation uh, and so just thinking on my end too, with all the hate that I get, <laughs> um, I would he already, not, he's already being hated on before too. Yeah. I would not intentionally things happen. And sometimes people are incorrect. That happens for sure. But I would not intentionally put something destroy, potentially destroy what I'm doing. Yeah. Because uh, at the same time, you could be misleading information. Like let's say she did something serious happen to her and you're out there. Oh no, she's alive. You know, you're, you're, you're mistraining something that's not true. You know, and, and in reality, you're the first person in this whole system that we got here of people digging in that cookie jar first because you got hired by their parents. You didn't get hired by us. And, and what's kind of odd, too, is that if that source is real, and I mean, my sister, I'll show my sister that. My sister's like, but what, what is she like? What is she running away from? And right. I, I don't know. I told her, I don't know. The only two things that I can, that I can think of. Because if, if, if her life thing about her sexuality and her wanting to change all true, which it looks like it's true. What is she running away from? And how come she doesn't want to come back? You know, to, to real life so i'm thinking maybe she's hiding either from her parents because her parents are like look you, you know you went through all this hassle and and hiding from us and you give us a bad reputation because remember we're part of our church so we got to look good to the church so if she if she's afraid of her parents or is she afraid of something bigger maybe like the church or something you know maybe the church is going to try to you know, convince her or whatever sexuality she is, because I don't know. I, I, I think the Mormons are, I don't think they're going to throw you to the wolves if you're gay, but they're not going to give you those tickets that you want for bad bunny. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're the first one in line. They're not going to give you those tickets. They're going to give you something else. They're going to give you a ticket to go to church on a Sunday. You know, they, they're, they're not going to be as loyal to you because, you kind of betrayed them, I, I, I'm guessing. You know, I'm not really a church person, but, you know, in, in, those, in those Bibles, they say that you can't really be dating your own sex, you know, and 
I don't know how yeah. I, I, you know, I, I just think that's people's personality. If they want to date something that's the same sex, let them be. You know, they, they, and Kate, Katie said in the comments, yeah. Katie said, I wonder if friends are lying. P.I. They look into their claim. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what the P.I. knows. Uh, but okay, I, so I, I if the friends like... are lying. Right, right, yeah. If their friends are lying, that means that our friends are up to no good saying that. That's like foul play. Right. And also, um, why now? That's what I was wondering. Why not? Because so he said, reach out to me privately or to your friends that you reached out to a couple of weeks ago. Today he posted that and February 11th. So I wonder why now. Was it I mean, who knows? Was it at the 21st, right? Uh, today's the 21st. So we're over three months, right? I I could be I could be thinking too, like maybe outside the box, like um, like the Angela case. You know, she's been missing well for three weeks, and then her face was getting out there too much that the guy was like, "Bro, you're gonna have to go home, man. You know, you you like everywhere you go, your name is being brought up here and just you know." This, in the neighborhood, everybody knows there's a girl missing. So what I'm thinking is maybe her face got too hot. Like, there's pictures of her all the way in Orlando. There's pictures of her all the way in Georgia. There's pictures of her everywhere. So everywhere, the, wherever they're traveling, it's like, it's a big heat. Before, I'm thinking maybe before when she was missing, all she was wearing, let's say, it was just a face mask. Now she got to wear a face mask with a hoodie on. You know, it's it, it's just more steps now. And it's the people are really not doing anything illegal to her. They probably want her to report that and say, listen, you know, like you need to put your story out there that you're okay. So we do get stopped. There's nothing illegal. You know, you went on your own will. And maybe, maybe also, maybe she's having like second thoughts of her doing this again. Like she's like, I really want to go back home. Because after a while, I'm guessing, I never ran away from home, but I'm guessing after, you know, you run away from home and stuff like that, you miss your home cooking, bro. You miss that home food. You miss everything delicious that your parents cook, bro. You miss your bag. You miss the AC. You know, you That's miss what I was wondering, man. like, what would be the re- Because, okay, just from my observations, man, this is, this is what has been. Um, people were very low, uh, vocal at the beginning. Search is going on, stuff, and uh, you know, Karim was very did a great job she was too, and all this. And then one day out of nowhere, I saw Joe post something on Facebook about um, you know, police are doing a good job and no longer no longer going to be doing teams, and church is kind of um disassociating or not associating kind of because police are not going to talk to them. And I don't know, at that one point, I just noticed silence. Why? And I noticed when I would talk about it, people would get mad at me. Uh, the la- but that's what I'm last saying. You're, you're, part, did, you're part of the community. The last video right, go ahead, go ahead, did, that's okay, that's okay. The last video I did about, you know what I mean, dedicated video, the one where I talked about um, her uh, oh, let me tell you, these people are watching for sure. They're all watching. <laughs> I can tell you that, a thousand percent. Because I know they talk about me. Because oh, they should call. The they should call and and and. <laughs> they should call. I think I think they should call. They should call and and at least give the, the their is, thoughts. You know, because obviously they they're closer to Naomi than we are. We just we just a community trying to help people. You know, we are just giving all type of theories. Maybe they can just shed some light to what is really going on because, you know, you got people, I'm not saying we're bashing her name, but we're throwing theories out there and they're getting mad. So in their eyes, it's like, oh, they're bashing our name and they're bashing the church name. So come up and to the plate and talk about what is going on because it's just like what you said. For like the first two weeks, everybody chipped in money, everybody went out there, everybody was passing fires, but after one step... I want to say maybe March came. There was silence. There was no post. There was no search parties. It was just like if if basically either 
somebody knew something, like if, if, if they got in contact with her and they reached out to her and they, they say, Mom, look, I don't want you to look for me. I'm fine. Just I want a different life. It just everything just stopped. But guess what? They didn't stop. Them collecting. Oh, that PayPal didn't hey, stop. Hey. It just stayed up there. You know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to talk trade about nobody, but if you really didn't want no more information, then you would have stopped collecting that PayPal. But you kept collecting that PayPal. And you still to this day collect. So it's like we need to hear answers, bro, because I yeah, need to do this call thing, nobody calls in. The phone number is nine five four seven eight seven three thousand nine. You don't have to be directly associated, but if you want to, you can give your opinion. Uh, I mean, we're just outsiders looking in. It just to me, you know, the the thing is too is like you can't you really can't control the internet, and so when uh, people start doing plea, like asking for people to get involved, and, and then all of a sudden it's just silent. And people are talking, and then people are getting upset at the people that are talking. Uh, it doesn't make too much sense, and and then you just expect people to get quiet. The last video I did, I think towards the end, I don't remember what I said verbatim, but I was just like, I feel. And you've been out there with me when we went to um, beach areas, when we went through the woods, we went through all these. You've been through some of the places with me. I didn't feel like she was out there. I just, I, we're from this area, we live it. I didn't feel it. That she was out, you know, and with the last video, I said, yo, I hope she's okay. I hope she's safe. I, I wish if that's what it is, reality, maybe I'm sure that maybe there's more to it. Uh, you know, live your life. I mean, I, and I would think too, that maybe you could reach out to your family. Hey, I'm okay. I don't go home if that's the case, uh, but, but maybe there's more to it. Maybe there's a reason she doesn't feel. I mean, apparently she's talked to some friends. Yeah, but I, I, I'll tell you, when I made that video, several people hit me up, and I had several conversations in it about that whole situation. It's like it's like if you trigger something, mm -hmm. and it's nothing but the but truth. That's what I'm saying. But people don't want well, that well, stuff out. It, it's stuff that that she put out, and then you know we just put two and two. You know, it, it, all all the stuff that. You put out about her sexuality, about her going left, her going right. It's because she put out little clues. There's a bunch of You know, of it. through her. Yeah, it's a bunch of it. Through her pin, what is it called? Pinterest, through her YouTube, through whatever. She She's the one that put out little clues. You know, obviously, she probably would still put more clues, but since she probably don't have a phone, she can't put out no clues. Well, I and, just and, don't know. And that's what I tell these people, too. Because sometimes people look at me like, oh, why do you got this information? You'd be surprised the conversations that I see. Uh, but but the reason, I mean, I didn't just go off of, oh, I'm doing, looking on Pinterest. I, and I'm just going to assume because I gathered this stuff that that's what it is. No, I legitimately spoke to people. Yeah, Multiple no, people. and, and, then, and you know then, then, so I'm not just I like pulling this out of my ass and making this up. It's, Correct. You know, it's it's what it is. Correct. No, and then I was, I'm 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 put her friend on blast because you know what I'm saying it's That's right it. there in writing. Her friend Summer was calling her gay. Hey, this is gay. Hey, this is oh, yeah. this is the shark thing is gay. Da, 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 whatever. But she she responded with a smart answer. She didn't say nothing back. Hey, don't worry about this gay. She just replied, "This is what I do. This is my job." And you know, it, it's just it's just odd that. That all, her her only friend Summer knew everything about her, and she doesn't even want to even speak. But you're the key to this. You are the key to the puzzle that's gonna lead us to the next track, to the next chapter. You went on. Data. Internet. Can you hear me? Uh... Yeah, the internet. The the internet was was, was been going down. It disconnected. You, you don't earlier? think people are trying to report you? <laughs> sometimes it's because they're reporting you. No, the serious. Sometimes because they report you. Oh, we're back. We're back. Oh yeah, hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, let me just check with YouTube. Yo, you guys can hear me. I mean, you see me, you hear me. We're back. We're all good. We're back. Okay. And I still don't know. And then on. 
you 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 remember that that picture that they put out with the with the girl with homegirl and Angelina? They had a timeline. They had a timestamp. They don't have no timeline, no timestamp on, on on this one on uh, Naomi. So it's, we really we just like in, in clueless, you know. I just I, I I don't know. I just don't see her coming back. I I, I see her happy the life that she's living, you know. Cause she's afraid of something. I, I, uh, that's what I really think. She's afraid of somebody or or something. Yeah, I mean because I mean the the message is I mean from the beginning, police kept saying the entire time, no foul play suspected. Or I mean, and sometimes that's just well they didn't see anything, whatever. But there's cameras all over that. Shit. There's cameras on a bridge. There's cameras on uh, a one a. We literally walked. A1A. There's cameras all over A1A. There's cameras on that bridge. Um, we went through the park. Uh, so, I mean, so, so you think, so you think that she got picked up in the park? That's the only logic I can think of because bro, if I, there's no, like you said, there's cameras everywhere, bro. There's cameras as soon as I get out of that gas station, there's a camera right there hitting me, and I'm making a left. They're gonna catch me down that road, and there's no cameras in that park. It has to be that. I, 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 AP said the fam. I think the family has known for a while. In my opinion, I think so too. I I really think that they just don't want people to stop searching. They probably really do want their daughter back or to know that she's safe and stuff like that. But there's got to be probably something deeper than. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's the sexuality thing. Get something else. I don't know. But. All I know is that these people get upset once you start talking about it. They just want you to shut up. I'm not, and I'm not talking about the family and all that stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about even just people in general. Like, even even when the, uh, Joe posted today, somebody's like, "You shouldn't put that out." But listen, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. There's nothing wrong with being gay, bro. What about that? Don't want to hear some. And a silver one. And and silver. Wait, you cut out. What you the, the, the problem is. That, that there's nothing wrong with, with, with liking the opposite sex, bro. Right. You know? There's, there's nothing wrong with that, bro. If you like that, you like that. You know, there's no sin. There's no, you're not going to hell. You know? I, 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 I don't know why, why, why she's like, why are those people are getting mad every time they're talking about it? You know? It's like, it's a freedom of speech, bro. You know? You think she want to live like that? Gracias, man. Because they don't want to do that. If she want to live like that, let her live like that. I, I think it's just the old school cultural uh, mentality, and it maybe mix you know, church with it too. You know, maybe that's part of it. And and, I, and I'm sure there's probably stuff that we don't know, that we have no understanding. You know, I mean, there's stuff I told you behind the scenes that I was told. You know, and so I'm sure there's more to it. That. You know what? I also think that the mom posted something this morning. Okay. So I don't know if that if that triggered Joe to say something or. Hey, what did she post? Do you know what she said exactly? She said something, something about like, please, mama, come home. Like, like if she knows that the girls party out there having fun, and she just don't want to come home to the parents. You know it's there's a reason why she don't want to go home, man. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, she, you know, like, I think I, I was, I was seeing uh, one of your, your videos that, that I think they, they share rooms with her brothers. Is it? That no. they, they, they all have no, 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 no. They all. Hey, hey, hey no. <laughs> don't talk about that. <laughs> don't talk about that. I don't we'll know what's about, going yeah, we'll on with that, that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All, 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 all I know is, man, they, 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 they need a, they ask for our help, man, and we out here helping. Right. Yeah, we're gonna knock on some doors, and we're gonna knock on the wrong door, but, you know, if they don't want us to ask questions, I think the parents should just say something, man. Like, you know, you all in silence, like, man, I, I don't know. I think, I'm, I a, I'm a, I'm a dad. I, I think that the, that's the reason for the silence. And no, we're not gonna. The, what he was trying to talk about is something that I told him behind the scenes that we can't. Man, I'm not gonna say that right now. <clears throat> but um, I I think but, that no, the they not. like we're, we're we're both dads. We're both dads, right? So if something happens to our kid, you know, we're gonna we want 
be there on camera and talk about everything, bro. Especially if we didn't have nothing to do with it. You know, it's just, I just don't know why they just stopped talking. Like, like what is the reason why? Like, I think because they know that she probably left on her own. <clears throat> they know more than the, than the general public. I, I think that if you really, really felt, or they felt, I mean, that it was human trafficking, if they really felt like that the entire time, I don't think they would have gotten quiet and stopped. That's what they did. From my perception and from what you can see, got quiet. And from my personal experience, you just type in her name, people get, you know, random people, why are you talking about this? Yeah, and, that, 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 I, really that, I don't that. understand that. I, I, just, I just hope that she's okay with with the last stuff that I heard and the people that I spoke to. I was thinking, okay, maybe she's prop, maybe she's okay. <clears throat> it seems like she's left her own. So, and what, so what, what, what is the it. people saying in the chat? Well, what are they saying? Cause I, I can't. I'm on the phone, so I can't really see. Or are, are there anybody saying? Has anybody spotted her or, or think seen her at all? Anything? Because I think last time, from what I heard, was that they they saw a girl that looked like her in, in the in the bar, right? And then the bar ended up being like a false, like a false uh, lead. There was somebody that said something about a bar. I don't know too much about it. I see them talking about the post and the other group. Um, somebody. Okay, here's what somebody said verbatim. Somebody said, I don't, and they're talking about the post that Joe, prior investigator, did. I don't have faith in this dude. Sorry, not sorry. She's alive and has reached out to people. Leave her alone. Somebody said, so you want us to leave her alone, but you guys still want to collect from the PayPal. <laughs> ah, I'm being honest. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make sense. Like, leave her alone, then, ten, then turn off the PayPal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't make sense. It, 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 it's like you guys are being rude. She's not a minor. You guys are right. She's not a minor. Uh, let me, okay, let me ask you guys this. Okay, let's, let's talk about, I guess, ethics and morality. Okay, why did he put the post out now? And if she really doesn't want to be found, which is what it seems like, if this post is true, because we're just basing this, the sexuality thing, I can say that I spoke to multiple people and I also saw the things online and I find that to be accurate. I asked multiple people and things online corroborates everything. Now we're going off of this piece that was put out by Joe Carrillo, the family investigator. And, um, you know, we don't know who he spoke to, but it just all adds up to her leaving. Can, can, can I can I say something real quick, and, Mel? And, like, yeah, but, and, gonna... so, and so is it wrong to put what he posted? Is it wrong to put that out if she really wants to be left alone? Or is it like letting her know everything? To me, it, it, it sounds like a call for help. It sounds like a call for help on his side. Maybe somebody he needs somebody to reach to him because his job is to inform people about him finding people. You know what I'm saying? And... and right. I just don't know why it will it will be kept a secret. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you did contact her weeks ago, why why are you gonna keep it a secret? You know, let us know that she's okay. So you know, so we don't have to like start with all these crazy theories. One thing, one thing that I always question, Mel, that I I want to say now is about the motive, right? The motive. Suppose the motive was that she got turned down by the job. And she went for a walk, right? right? So my question on the job is, who interviewed her and who gave her the no, no, the no hire? These are questions that you need to ask. Who's the one that told her that she didn't get hired and who's the one that gave her the job interview? Because, the, and also, if she was going to get a, a job, where was the job at? Because there's only, like I explained to you, there's only three national parks. Florida Everglades National Parks. There's there's a lot of national parks, but that key word right there, Florida National Everglades Park. There's only three of them. There's one in Homestead. There's another one by Key West. And there's another one out there way, way, way far by Broward. By like... I think 
charity. I believe so. All the way far west. So that means that she has she has no right. So that means that all this has to be through bus that she has to catch. Or somebody giving her a ride. So how is she going to get a job internship all the way to Homestead? Right. And, and, and let's yeah. say, because there's no bus that goes out there. The only bus that goes out there is the one all the way in Sherrod. So I, I I just think that national park thing. I'll be honest, with you, I think it's probably made up, bro. Really? Yeah, I, I just think it's made up. Because I I, I think Mel that she's probably more educated fit than those park rangers. Those park rangers don't yeah. know nothing. Yeah, I think she is. Very smart. They they really don't. Intelligent, yeah. She's a smart young girl for her age and then me as a person i'm like damn bro, i'm gonna groom this girl until she's 40 and she's gonna be like a brilliant girl because she's gonna be the one that's training all my trainees at 21 with that mindset bro you're gonna be the most intelligent girl at 40 bro and you're gonna know everything about everything about the zoo about animals what the eagle everything everything and she's smart because she's like a sponge she she sucks in everything i i just I don't know. I just, I just, what I'm, I don't know, man. I just too, think that that's what I'm wondering too. I wonder if police know he posted. We assume that he told police because that's pretty substantial too. Because then that tells police, okay, she's safe. That's what that message says. So what? So 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 what? That means that the police stop, stop searching because she's safe. I don't know. But I'm wondering. See, that's what I'm saying. And do they know this? Do they know this? Because I, I spoke to some, well, I don't want to. I spoke to some people that supposedly knew her, like really knew her. They never knew anything supposedly about her sexuality. Uh, which when when I was told that to me it means nothing, you know, because a lot of people might not really be public about it. They might not tell their friends about it, and they could just be telling me that they don't know, but they do know. You know. Uh, so I wonder what friends. Uh, of course, he's not going to say. Did, did did you ever seen um Kareem's life on the fifteenth? I think I know what you're talking about. What you say? Kareem think, said on the fifteenth. Maybe I should play it. She think, said, uh, "Didn't you send it to me somewhere?" I think you should play it. Yeah, I think you should play it. <laughs> Where uh? Shit. She said, "Okay, I'm." Oh I'm no, gonna I got it. I got it. I got. It. I know where to get it. You got it. Yeah, talk about it. Let me. I'm gonna pull it up. I'm just okay, gonna play I'm gonna say a little short. Okay. Okay. You want me to? You want me to just to listen to I'm it? I'm ready. No, I can play. It. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. You guys listen. I don't want to put it up on the screen because I don't. Here. On the fifteenth, she gets dropped off here on the south side on West Lake Park. So we believe she must have gone. You have to take a you have to take a bridge. We're gonna have to try to go back there and try to we're gonna try to recreate what she did because she was dropped off here on Wesley. And by the way, this is not like a secret audio or whatever. This was posted publicly to the page. I don't know if it's it's, just, it's still there. I think it's not like a secret or anything. Yeah, listen, yeah, listen. it's still there. Park. Um, but we believe she was at the Ann Culp Center because she sent a picture from a tower. There's no tower in this vicinity other than that one. If you're familiar with the area, there's a tower right there, and you can look at it. Um, and you can look at the whole city and the description of it, like her friend thought it matched really well. Um, I'm going to also do another video where it's more clear for people, but it is what it is for now. Um, and Kolb Center and Kolb, I'm going to flip my camera back around. Um, the and Kolb Center has since told us there was kind of suspicious activity, um, some weird activity going on Wednesday with a suspicious man. Um, so on Thursday, the park rangers were extremely vigilant about who was at the park. They were trying to be like extra, you know, these extra eyes and stuff to make sure that no, no nothing weird was happening on Thursday. Um, so they decided to close the tower early at, um, at 5.50 p.m., um, the, which is about 10 minutes before the park closed. And then when they close the park, they start doing sweeps. So they go through the whole park, or as much as they can cover, because the park is huge. Um, 
and they they ask everyone to start leaving and to make make their way out because they closed the gate. So there's a gate that closes. It doesn't mean that there's no access to the park once the gate closes because it's a nature center. So there's a lot of ways that you can still go. She gets here. She gets. That was it. I don't think that was the whole clip. Or was that everything that you get that you talking about? Uh, it was like a two minute thing, I think. Yeah, I think it was missing part of it. Because she, she mentioned too about somebody suspicious. So she, she was talking about the uh, Ann Cold Nature Center where they be we believe, we don't know for a fact, it could have been any one of those parks. It could have been Westlake. But they believe she was there at Ann Cold Nature Center. And she was describing that at closing time, the park rangers come out and they're like, uh, okay, everybody has to go, which I did go there uh, during closing times. And that's actually what happened. They started going around people to leave. I didn't even know they did that. And so she mentioned something about a suspicious person, right? Being there or you want to tell me? Well, 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 what I understood from the live, she said that the day before she went missing on the 11th. She said the day before, the day before was uh, the 10th. She said the day before there was a suspicious person I don't know if it was around closing time. I'm guessing it was around closing time because they literally closed the park 10 minutes or 15 minutes before closing time. So on the 10th, there was a suspicious person. And then the next day when she went missing, they closed the park early as well. So she went missing the next day with the missing person already, I mean, with the, with the suspicious person already alerted the day before so 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 that means that she she left before the closing time because they what i'm saying is that the people they already were alert that was something was going on and they didn't the girl kareem didn't say exactly what does the suspicion was it could be like a person taking photos of people you know they'd be like hey don't take photos of me and then he's like oh, i want to take photos of you know, that's kind of being suspicious. But he, he exactly didn't say what was suspicious about the person. Right. But I, in my opinion, if did we put our report the day before, we are going to be alert the next day that something is going to happen or something something weird is happening here because it's literally the day before, you know, they gave him a heads up. Man, I mean, to me... What this puts out to to me, what this indicates with the overall message to me is that she seems like she's okay and must be left alone. That's what it seems like to me. It almost seems like we we probably shouldn't even be talking about it anymore. And that's kind of what I felt like with the last time after I heard some of the stuff. I was like, you know, not, this just kind of if it's true what he's saying, this gives kind of more I don't know credence to. I guess she left on her own. You know, I mean, I hope she's not in a bad situation. I hope she's okay. And I would think too that maybe for you know people keep talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. Maybe I don't know. Probably gives you an anxiety. It's probably not good for your health too if you're trying to run away from it. I don't know. But but, but what do you think? You think that she's tired, or you think that she because after after a while. You know, you, you know, you need to like you need to get money. You need to start working. Like all, all this free bumming stuff. If she is free bumming and you know living off somebody else, it's not gonna last that long. You know, like you're gonna want to make your own money. You're gonna want to buy your own car. You're gonna want to make your own move. You know. Live. Yeah, I don't know how somebody would. Uh... Unless, unless I also heard was my ex-wife told me one time that she ran away and she was. She was uh, 18. And the cops help her get a fake name. So the cops kind of help you to get away from the grid. Like, obviously, they know you're alive and nothing happened to you. But they're giving you fake names. They're giving you fake social security. They're giving you all types of shit because they're helping you. Right. But th that's what I understand. Why, if the cops are helping her, why they're not saying anything? You know, because it, it's just like, I think they closed the case. Like, right. 
I mean, like, if, like, if she's okay and she doesn't want to come home, then people, sh- like, you know, she's an adult. She really is an adult. So people should not be making flyers and doing everything else. Why? You know, unless it's to keep so, up a perception so, or something. <laughs> but why? Your friend, your friend Lisa said that she probably got the stimulus check and she's living off of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I don't think so because because that means that she she gotta have uh, some type of some type of credit card or or, or transaction on her phone showing her where to get money and stuff like so that. Too, I don't yeah. think that's true. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think so. But I don't know. It's I agree with you. I think I think we just need to stop talking about it and just let it be because. The parents don't want her about it. No, nobody from her own church want to help out. I guess we just, I think today should should be the last day we should even say this girl's name. Well, because it's like with, with the church and her side don't care. To, to be fair, you know, the only thing with the church, they did a lot. I mean, whatever, however anybody feels about it, they did a lot. I I feel like I don't know, and this is. I feel well, like, they, they, they they said in a post. They no. said in a post that all we did was give you a parking space for people to park. Well, yeah, I think they tried to. They did say that in a post. Yeah, you're right. I think they tried to you disassociate know? themselves. I think something happened. I don't know if the church knew about it or not. I think I, it's just opinion. I think something happened, and maybe they backed off, or certain people said, "Hey, like, all right, that's it," or whatever. You know, I I think people knew long before stuff. I found out. And, you know, what we talked about, I think people knew. So I think they just kind of they're backing off. Because not all the stories get all the attention either. People go missing all the time. There was some other girl in Hollywood that went missing, I think it was this year or something. This year. I think it was beginning of year, this year. I can't remember her name. I don't know if it was. I think it was a Native American girl. Brother Pop. Probably the chat will remember. I think her name started with an A. I don't know. But, hey, somebody! Somebody said to check your phone. They send you something. Stop talking about this. They're watching you. <laughs> check your phone. They're like, hey. Check for it. It's our, uh, it's our uh, lovely uh, friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at her message and her message literally says, check your phone. <laughs> so I'm looking at my phone. What am I supposed to see? Maybe she, let me look some more. Yeah. Did you Facebook maybe? Oh, I think she was talking about the video. I, I don't think that was yeah. the entire video. I don't know, man. Overall, man, I'm just going to say, I hope she's okay. I don't care. And I know you don't care. And you've told me a lot of stuff about her sexuality. And I think generally, uh, the public doesn't care either. Now, as far as perceptions and whatever, where people have to keep up in a certain way or whatever, that's a whole other story. Um, but th- all this indicates to me, and I'm sure w- seeing this post too, I was surprised to see it because I would think that maybe the family wouldn't want that, that put out. I don't know. Exactly. Because the whole time out. they've been saying it's not. Her running away and then the lady the it's lady on uh, the main lady right kate she agreed with it she said yep it's true or something like that yeah she, she well she said that um you know he's a private investigator and they they're basing what they know off of him so I, you know i don't know what they know or whatever so to me that to me this is all indicators to leave this alone that's what I'm. That's what. That's the whole. You don't think I mean, her friend helped her, that, Summer? Huh? Uh, I don't. You I don't think, think Summer knows Summer more. Helped her? I think Summer knows more. I think Summer knows more than than what she told us, and she doesn't really owe us anything, to be honest with you. Uh, I thought it was nice of her to talk, but I, I I think that you know I think she does know. I think maybe she does know more. It's possible she doesn't, but I think she does know more. But I think so too. You know, if that's her friend, her obligations to her friend, not the public what the public wants you know the the only thing with the public though is like things kind of change a little bit when people start asking for the public's help then things start to change a little bit because then if you don't want people searching then you got to do certain things at least i would think you know if you know something let people aware hey 
I, that's probably why they stopped the searches. I mean, I don't. To, to my knowledge, I haven't really checked the group at all. Besides today, when somebody sent me the screenshots, to my knowledge, they haven't been doing searches anymore. Like that's it. Now the private investigator, he's doing what he's doing, but I'm saying publicly, I haven't seen searches. So what what does that tell everybody? Yeah, like, why are we not allowed to talk about this when when it comes to like? Because I think this is important for maybe just everybody, just to okay, maybe we should just move on, leave it alone. I think it's important because it, the reason why I say is remember we're in Hollywood, so right now the 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 hot spot right now is Hollywood. Everything is happening in Hollywood. People getting murdered, people getting burnt, people getting right. shot, right, yep. people getting kidnapped, everything. So it's like. If, if if there's another case that just happens the same way, we can at least know, you know, this happened the same way in 2021, in February 11th, da, da, da. you know, so it's like, it's an MO, it's a, what is it? MO, right? That's what you say, a, MO is the same right, type yeah. of way that she went missing, you know, and, and it's good because we could have record of it, but it, it, it's just sad that, you know, that that nobody wants to help on her and like they're like that's it leave it alone like like nobody want to talk about it no more just leave it and, and that i think it's because of everything that we're everything that's coming out now i think that's the reason so why ask for help because well that's a good question why you why you never you never, you never thought too. did they know from the beginning or they didn't know from the beginning and did they just want to bring her home I mean, because the thing is, too, yeah, like, because... this to me is almost confirmation, like, okay, she must be somewhat okay. She's staying. Her friends have been in contact with her. It's a reason she must have left. And I don't believe this chick, like the other story with uh, Angela, uh, Noemi's not strung out or on drugs somewhere. I, that's, I don't at all believe it has anything to do with that. Possibly, maybe the sexuality stuff. Maybe there was other things going on, too. Hey, the pandemic stuff, everybody's stuck at home now. And I think a lot of these stories, too. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. A lot of these stories are getting a lot of attention, maybe attention that they would have never gotten before. And some people think that some of this stuff is just going to come through and go away and not expecting it to get as big as it gets. You know? So... I I don't know. I just think she's 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 locally, bro. She has to be somewhere here local. Huh? She has to be. Her face yeah, she is has everywhere. to be. She probably. But you know. Yeah, she... because think about it. Go ahead, if go she ahead. has friends, she only has two friends in two parts, in Hollywood and in BYU. That's it. She got no more else friends nowhere. Is it Hollywood or BYU? I, I I me personally, I don't think there's nobody from the church that's helping. It's somebody that's. Maybe from high school. Maybe she used to have a crush on them. Maybe a good friend. Some age. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's just odd, bro. It's just, it's just you know, if there is foul play, you know, you would have been some, it would have been like some type of evidence, a mass on the floor, yeah, some I just, type I of, I, that, I don't know. Yeah. It's just, I didn't feel it with this case. Yeah, man. I didn't feel it. Me and you went, bro. You yeah, know, yeah, we yeah. went through, bro, we went through goddamn almost. The, uh, what, swimming basically we went through everywhere we didn't right. see nothing yeah man I, with this yeah, I just I don't feel that I didn't feel that man. and, and yeah, we've been there and went to the park I walked all that stuff we walked we walked the park I went to Westlake with the other guy I mean we really went through that whole thing. So you know what somebody texted me, uh, which was kind of, it was kind of funny. I laughed at one of them. Cause they, I don't know if you remember previously on one video, a live stream, but I was, I jokingly said, I think when I was in Westlake park, I was like, yo, Noemi, if you ran away, if you're alive or whatever, yo, you owe me a drink. <laughs> That's what, so somebody texted me after I started this live stream and she was like, yo, I think she owes you a drink. <laughs> She owe me a drink too. Fuck that. So we out there. She 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 owe, she owe everybody on oh, YouTube God. a drink because everybody done their part, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looking for her. People wasted their time going to the church and picking up flyers, passing them. And to be honest, you bro, I I go down the strip. I don't even see one flyer on her. So let me read the mother's post. Somebody sent it to me. Uh, it says. 
These past 10 weeks without Noemi have been extremely painful. I love you, Noemi. Even though this is an old video, I stand by it because you are truly amazing. For a thousand years or longer, I will always be there for you. We need you back home, Mama. Hey, did you see what this guy Lawrence put? Lawrence White Wolf? He put ice. Hmm. Oh, he's talking to you. Ill. Remember, she has two kids. Maybe the what? mother doesn't want CPS involved if Wait. she has issues. Oh, you talking about the CPS mother? Oh, I thought she was saying the woman had two kids. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, the mother. What does CPS mean? That's child, child protective, child protective yeah. service? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you only kids. have one kid. You only have one kid that's a that's a minor because from what I heard, the brother's over age too. Oh yeah, yeah, I did hear that too. Are there LGBTQ safe houses that people help? Okay, AP is asking this question. There are. Oh, she's she's saying there are LGBTQ safe houses that help people exactly like her that want want a safe place to stay safe. so they can work things out. Out in her heart. Hey, 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 hey. That guy AP is in the club. She said a three should go to a gay bar. <laughs> That's a woman. She's really cool. She said a three should go to a gay bar. Oh lord. <laughs> hey, listen, man. I, I'm, I, I, I go. I, I'm a hundred percent. I'm a man. I don't care shit. I, I'm. <laughs> hey, I got confidence in myself. No. And plus, they, they don't know that I got a gay brother. So if she wanted to come out, you know, she, let's say we, all this time she comes out one day and she said, like, "Let's go to the, to the gay friend. bar." I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, why not? We we'll probably get some girls there, bro. <laughs> uh, you know, girls go there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Man. They are wild girls. They love seeing all that crazy shit, man. Yo, Keish sent the super chat. Thank you, Keish. She said some cops. Will help them get away from home. A lot that comes with that. I uh, I know runaways and parents of runaways. It's crazy. Much love, Mel. Thank you, Keish. Appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, I hope, hopefully. I also those... think may, 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 maybe the person she met was online, bro. I think you said it one time. All this online, everything you meet people is everything yeah, online. The whole thing too. Maybe she left will and I've said this a couple times. Maybe she left willingly. Maybe she met. I mean, not maybe she left willingly. Like Angela, like, like that. the Angela maybe girl, she that, met that somebody online. You know what I'm saying? And, and somebody started talking to somebody, whatever. And maybe they, you know, kind of gave her the ideas. Oh, you know, we could go do this, go do that. I I totally believe it was willingly. But it also let me ask you something, though, Mel. Yeah. Do you think if she was gonna run away, do you think the parents are like? I can't explain. Like, let's say you're my dad, right? And I'll be like, Dad, I'm gonna run away. I can't stand this house. You're, I'm already giving you signs that I want to leave. Or you think she just left one day to another? I see. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Because I don't know. Like, I'm gonna give you an example. Like, like. When I say my ex girlfriend, she's gonna break up with me. She gives me signs. Right. Oh, you're not there for me. You know, and it's like, oh shit. And then, then the next day, it's over. Why? Why? I'm there kissing her. Why? Why? But guess what? She told me a week ago, you're not hugging me. You're not snuggling me. You're not telling me I'm beautiful. That is that. And I'm there thinking, like, bro, this girl being a pain in the ass. No, bro, that's what she want to hear. And I, and I never did it. So guess what? Next day, I got I, I get dumped. So, so there was signs already, and maybe the parents just choose to ignore it. Be so, man. I don't know. I mean, it happens a lot of times. I guess people in general, all the signs are there, and you don't see it until like it's too late. Uh, what is that mean? Oh, thank you, Cynthia, for the cash shop and April. Appreciate it. And, and, and also, no. Yeah. Also, too, she got to have a friend, bro, because literally, how is she going to be changing clothes, bro? She's going to tell me that she's wearing the same clothes since February 11th. Uh, yeah. No, no, there's no. Right? She, she has to be changing clothes. She has to be. 
back to back to back to the sexuality thing. I'm gonna keep it real. Hmm. If she did go with somebody that's the same sex, it has to be a woman older than her. It can't be a younger or a girl her age. Because an older woman is already going to know how to please her without being sexually. Pleasing her, taking her to the to the ice skating arena, taking her here, watching stars, taking her here to the restaurants, feeding her, putting clothes on her, teaching her how to cook, teaching her how to sew, teaching her how to be a grown woman, you know, teaching her how to put on makeup the right way, you know. Show her all this that she never had nobody show her this. So I think if she did run away, it's with an older woman. It's possible. I think so, maybe. It's possible. More experience. Kind of take you in. I mean, even in, looking into the... Uh, just That's kinda... why the older woman said, don't even worry about your ID. Don't even worry about your credit cards. Don't leave everything at home. I got you. Then she had the how to disappear thing on her Pinterest too. Yeah, a couple people mentioned that. That last video I did a while back. Um, I spoke about all the little, some of the different clues. It's, it's not all of them, but she had all these little different things on her social media. That when you take everything into context, if you just look at one thing, I would say that's circumstantial or a couple of things. But just given all the different things and the people that I spoke to. Sexuality thing is a thing. But she had this whole thing on there too, which I mean, maybe you could say it's random. Maybe you could say it's not. And this book is like it's I think it's a book. It's like a guide. But the only thing is like I wonder, did she follow did she even follow the guide to the T though? I forgot the one thing. It does mention about bank accounts and credit cards. To start withdrawing all your money, your days of Visa, PayPal, and Venmo are over. You're only a cash only person now. Yeah, that's it. It's cash. You can't use your stuff anymore. So, 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 so what I'm thinking, that means that you got to get cash by any means. So what, what do you mean? <laughs> that means that you got to do whatever to do to get cash. Even if you got to sell yourself, got to rob somebody, don't worry about it. You're not going to do it. I'll do it for you. But after a while, you have to keep up because... This is the game, you know what I'm saying? You're playing the disappearance shit. You don't want them to catch you. Once you give them a trace of anything like technical or credit card, and that's it, you're fucked. You're fucked. So everything is cash. And it says here too, when you're done, you should have a fat check of cash tucked away in a diversion safe, closet or cross space. Okay, but Having so what? No the the, the safe is... Makes the disappearing process much challenging. Much more challenging. Well, so they're saying that you need to have some cash set aside because if you don't have any cash set aside, then you're kind of screwed. Okay, see, but that's what I'm saying. All this right here is written. It, it sounds like an older person writing all this. A young twenty kid, year old. Unless this kid's like Einstein, then you gotta come up with this. This is this is a person that's been through stuff like this, and uh, it has to be an older person that she's with. It has to be that she's an older person. So let me ask you this. Oh, two things. And so one, though, this supposed guy says, kill your social media accounts, which she didn't. So I don't know. I guess she didn't follow this step of the way. But then somebody commented you know on Facebook. Let me tell you the comment from Facebook. VM said, if that's the case, then why can't she just say, hey, I'm okay. Stop looking for me. Why keep this going? Because she she doesn't because remember, she's getting groomed by the other person. The other person is is not hurting you, but at the same time, it's like wait wait before you use that phone. Remember, if, if you're giving out information, what are you gonna what are you gonna lead? And then she's like, you know what, you're right. I'm not gonna use it. I I think that so she's basically like to this with the family and all that stuff too. I don't know if it's religion. I don't know if it's family. You know what I'm saying? But there's more pieces than just, you know, maybe it wasn't accepted or maybe there was just a read. Maybe she wanted independence, you know, um, but why can't she say she's okay? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. 
Uh, it, it's happened before, though. There's been people that disappear. They don't want to be tracked <laughs> or found. They want to be kind of left on their own. Yeah, because, you know, at the same time, I was thinking was, let's say the person did get in contact with, with their friends. Let's say it was through a text message. It's not her verbally. So let's say if I kidnap her, right, and I'm there sending you a message, oh, hey, I'm Naomi, I'm fine. But that's not her voice. That's not like the person telling you physically, hey, look, I'm fine, leave me alone. It's just a message so you can stop searching or whatever, you know. It's, it, I don't know. I, I, and plus, why message the friend or or was name Joe? Why you can't just message the mom or the cops or make a video and say, hey, look, I'm okay for one second and that's it. Make a quick video, say that you okay. You know, you know. I don't know. I I I think the person that has her, it's not hurting her, but it's controlling her. And at the same time, home. I think homegirl's in love. She's in love, and 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 she's probably afraid to say no to that person. Well, it's it's possible, possible. I mean, okay, so. She had come, she was in Utah and she came back, right? Like, how long she was she home? Was it like a year or something? She came back in 2020 or something? I, I want, let's say, let's say a forgot. year and a half. I think it was, yeah, a year or something. So she, she had just come back home recently. So she was kind of like on her own, you know, and now she's coming back home. I mean, I don't know if dependence thing, maybe she. So that. The, 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 the interesting thing is, what made her want to study? What, what's the thing that she went for? Zoology. It was uh, the exact term. Something I think like, she came back in December twenty twenty. Jordan, she came back December twenty twenty. So that's she, literally two months. Yep, she came back December twenty twenty. I just got a message from somebody telling me that. So that means that she literally waited two months and she was gone. Uh, really? We're gonna have to get clarification. I wanna, I wanna. I have the notes in front. Because if that's true, oh, she waited was two months and was gone. Let me ask the person: How do you know this? I was trying to find. I should have probably had a timeline set up live stream than it previously. Um, Biology, environment, science. Yeah, I think that's what she went for. It's gotta be kind of a hard life to live, man. Like, let's say, let's say you want to disappear, you want to be gone. You can't really do the normal things. Man, that you would, or could you? Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's say I, I, I want to buy some earrings, but I don't got cash. You know, right. <laughs> I, 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 I have a credit card. What? I have to wait till I get cash. Oh wait, somebody. And that's what I'm in. saying. Like, just like. Hold on, Mr. Oh, somebody call. Okay, go ahead, man. Let, no, let, you, let you talk. Hold, let you hold, I'm gonna put you on hold, and I'm gonna take. I hold. Back. I hold. Okay. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me take this person. My bad. Uh, take. Nine one zero. We're gonna end the live stream soon too, cause I gotta go pick up my daughter. Nine one zero. How you doing? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Jennifer. Hey, Jen. What's up? How you doing? Thanks for calling. What's your thoughts, man? Tell I, me. I, Tell me. <laughs> I I think that um, I, it's hard. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But you can't. Um, if it was a message she sent to someone, you can't really count that as hearing from her necessarily because mm. anybody could send the message. But if, it, uh, you know, I don't understand why she does, doesn't go to the police and be like, Hey, I'm fine. And then the police would be like, she's fine. Carry on. So you said, yeah, reach out to me privately or to your friends that reached out or to your friends that you reached out to a couple of weeks ago. I've met with them hundred percent behind you. Yeah. Who knows? That's a good question. How how did she reach out to the friends? Was it just a text mm -hmm. message? Was it an actual 
voice conversation uh, because there's been times to where people were deceased or it's not really them and it's somebody else or the perpetrator pretending to be them reaching yep. out and saying this in order to halt or slow down an investigation. Hey, that's another angle to look at yep. it from. That is another interesting way to look at it. it happened. Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah. That's just, uh, you know, that's my two sons. I mean, I can't really tell. I mean, you never know. <laughs> you never know. I mean, with everything that I heard so far in covering the story, it makes sense what he's saying. Like, again, I don't know. All I'm seeing, all I know is what this message mm-hmm. is posted here. It makes sense to what he's saying. Everything to me so far has been corroborating that she's. But, yeah. yeah, it could be. You never know. It could have been somebody else. I don't know how those friends spoke to her. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's going to put that out, but that, that is a good question. Yeah. Oh, that's said. all. I just, all right, I just wanted you. to call in and say uh, hey to everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate the support. And uh, this course. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. We bring uh, Silvio back in, and then we're going to call it a stream. And, and I think I just, I'm already, like, over this story, man. I'm ready. I think I'm over it, especially now. If she's fine, if she's fine, then okay. Silvio, you're back on, man. Oh, the video stopped again. Okay. Buffering. <clears throat> I gotta, I gotta deal with this comment. Yeah, she, stuff, she, I, I, she, she, she's a smart. The girl I just called, she, she rewrote it better than me. Like she said it a better, the way she said it. Like I was trying to say, exactly so how she said. How did the friends? Yeah. Hold on one second, because I think we're buffering. Give, give me one second. I, I'm gonna have to deal with Comcast. So, something's going on. The connection keeps. Uh, you're gonna have to sign in your hotspot. <laughs> okay. I can't do lives like this. Stopping. It's getting too, it's getting too good, man. <laughs> the fans. The haters trying to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Facebook's saying it's okay. All right, so go ahead, man. Go ahead. We'll finish. Say what you're going to say and then I'll like, call it out. That, that the way the, that I was trying to say, the same way she said it, that how did how did the friends get in contact with her? Because it was just a message that's not it's not legit, man. You know, it got to be a voice. It got to be a, a, a video in it. But at the same time, like, if you're doing all this, you're still giving, like, an IP address. You're still giving... Remember, it's technology. So how can you actually give... Well, I, I don't know. I, I, it has to be a message, bro. It has to be some type of message, like I said, that erases. It has to be. It can't be one of these messages like, look, see, she mad to me. No, unless the person screenshot it. But I doubt it, bro. It has to be one of those messages that just erases it, bro. All right. And at the same time, I wait before you go. I yeah. also think that they're close. I think somebody's close to this shit, right? And and that's why they message the person to say, "Hey, I'm okay," because I guess they they, they 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 I think they're onto somebody. It's possible too. Maybe there could be a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know. Maybe this is a attempt by by. Joe or something to try to get attention. No, Lisa, I wrote to you. I kind of put him on blast. Can you reach out to Joe? I can. I don't know if he's going to tell me things particular, but I can. Yeah, but we want a person that's going to say positive stuff, you know, not like negative shit. It's business, I, I man. Can, it's I can like try. I, I don't think he's going to say anything that's going to uh, mess up what he's trying to do. The investigation. Right? Yeah, it's plus it's his job, you know. He's not yeah. trying to mess up his, his money with, with the family too, bro. You guys got to that too. <laughs> all right, Mel. <laughs> I, just, I I just said yeah, and then I caught it after. No, yeah, but yo, thank you for calling in, man. Oh, and just so, where are you at with this whole situation, man? What's your final like? Okay, we done. Are we done with this, man? Or, or, or I mean, if something comes up, then we might talk about it. But I guess for now, I guess we're done. Well, today, okay. Look, what, what, when was the last time that something came up? Like, was the picture right? Yeah, nothing from, and that's the thing. And too. that was, I, I believe that police. was a week before. 
Right. That's it. Just the the thing from I know the picture in the. Bus. I think it was on the twenty first. I think February twenty first when it came up. You. And today's the twenty first again. Oh, you're right. So the 21st. synchronicities, man. Yo, yeah. I think it was the twenty first. Well, I, I covered the bus thing. I covered on the twentieth. So it might have been the twentieth, February twentieth. I don't know exactly. I know I covered it on the February. Oh, it's close enough. About a month. A month in between. Hold on. So may, 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 maybe the person's trying to give every month some clue or some shit. I don't know. I think we're on the outside. I mean, we know. I mean, I've gotten some good information, but we're still on the outside. And uh, I think we would just be uh, kind of like what I felt like when we were out there. It's kind of going in circles. You know? And that she wasn't out there or lost or something. Oh, or, 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 hey, reach out to Mel, girl. You know what I'm saying? Tell me, okay. You reached out to his friend, to your yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Reach out to this guy. Send me a message. You know? Or something that's verifiable. Yeah, you know, you know send him one of those messages that he races. Yeah, you yeah know, you know there the you go. Are here. Send, send something. I don't think she will, but. Yeah, send something. I agree. Send me a drink. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so something in the mail. Let me know. A sign, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I appreciate uh, you, man. So uh, we'll talk, bro. Nah, bro, bro. Take right. care of yourself, Take man. Yeah, you too, man. God bless. All right, bye. We probably, we probably pissed off. I mean, I think it was fine. The stream was fine. Did this? It, I'm surprised what was put out. Um, because it goes against a lot of what's being told to us this entire time, you know, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but, uh, I guess at the end of the day, like, you know, we've all said, I think everybody just wishes that she's okay and, uh, wish you the best, man. Uh, do what you gotta do. I, I, I was over the story a while ago. This to me was like, well, we'll just talk about it. Whatever. Do a little update. Uh, and, and maybe this can give people a little bit of peace. If this is accurate, if this is because I don't know, like I said, with the messages, who was the person as Jen brought up, which is a great thing to bring up. Who was the person who was the, how did that person speak to them? What type of contact was it? Yo, I'm going to find out what that sound is. <laughs> what that, one day I'm going to find out what that is. But no, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit uh, what's going on behind the scenes as far as Discord. Discord right now, I've disabled all the invites. Okay, so ain't nobody coming in Discord right now. Uh, I'm cleaning up Discord. I'm remodeling it, repainting it. I'm owning it, um, putting in some security features. And so for right now, I'm not going to be doing invites. Um, I'm kind of going to clean up a little bit and put some rules in place. And, and then once that's cleaned up, I'm going to get back to you guys, the people that aren't in discord, how you can get in and what are going to be the rules and stuff like that. Um, because it's, it's kind of like a community place where I think it'll be nice for people to come and talk, but at the same time with any community, any group of friends, any family members, sometimes there's going to be drama and all this kind of stuff. And so it just kind of, um, there needs to be like a clear way of handling some of those situations. And, and there's people, you know, there's people that have been in there that come through all the time and say, hi, how you doing? How's your day? And all that kind of stuff. And then after a while it becomes like a, almost like a family environment kind of thing, you know, but it, it does need to be managed and maintained. I think. So, and apparently there's 80 something people. Well, now that now there's, yeah, there's 80 something people in there. I was like, when the hell are all these? Because I swear there's only like 10 of us in there active talking. Where are the 80 people come from? <laughs> I was like, what? So that's what's going on with Discord. And I've been taking care of some other things on the side. So I haven't really covered many stories. And then I have this internet. Thing. I don't know what is up with my internet. The people that have been rocking with me, you know, a couple days ago, it started acting crazy. I called Comcast. They were going to send somebody out. They had an appointment. But by the time the morning came, everything was working fine. So I canceled it. And after I cancel, then it starts acting up again. So I'm going to have to call these people to come out. 
because this is the third day now in a row and it's interrupting my live streams. I'm glad I didn't put too much into this one because the other one that I did actually put it in quite a bit of preparation and the whole thing started acting up in the through Uh but yeah, no, I appreciate you guys. Oh, and people that are in the members area, I'm gonna figure out something too because uh if you're a member you'll have access to discord i'm just cleaning up right now but i'm gonna figure something out with the tiers um because i i gotta i gotta establish some level of control i can't just let a bunch of random people start parading the place uh and, and ruining uh what's going on on discord you know so we have to set some sort of level of um i don't know civility or, or, or establishment or something i don't know whatever it is <laughs> you know so but yeah you guys take care of yourselves appreciate it peace oh damn it I did. i'm gonna wait a couple of seconds every time i hit uh end it doesn't catch me saying peace even though i screwed up peace so but yeah i appreciate you guys take care